All right, guys. So we're gonna go over the corkscrew cross or corkscrew hook, depending on who you ask. Okay. Think of it exactly like a corkscrew. Okay. It kind of goes around and straight. It's not. It's not a straight punch, and it's not a curved punch. It's a combo of the two. Okay. What we need to make sure we're doing is we want the same mechanics as when we're throwing across. So. My body still needs to turn and everything. My head might move slightly offline. It might not be as straight as it is when I throw a normal cross. Okay, but we want to make sure we're sticking to the fundamentals. It is part of the cross series. So when I throw it, we're here. Okay, think of it as a there's an imaginary line. Of, imagine your opponent throwing a punch, okay, straight at you, and you're going to lean and corkscrew that shot right over. Again, we're here. Corkscrew that punch right over. Think of it as it's spinning around, dizzying the person. Okay, from the side, from here, same mechanics. I'm turning, or I'm corkscrewing it over and around. Corkscrewing over and around. You will have a little bit of an elbow flare because you are changing the slight angle on it. It's not directly straight. Okay, that is our corkscrew. All right, guys, so we have our corkscrew cross. It's not exactly straight, but it's not exactly a super wide punch. Has the same fundamentals as the cross. We still want to turn our hips, still do everything, but again, it's a bit of a situational punch. It tends to be more of a counter, and every once in a while, it's a way to work around the guard. Again, be mindful, it is still a cross, so there is somewhat of a straight-like motion, but like a corkscrew, we're going around something. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our corkscrew cross.